Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a supply chain logistic API dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this dashboard wherein on the top we have given the month selection. You can change the month from this drop down and just select the second month. Then the whole dashboard will be changed accordingly. We are taking here the KPI group, KPI name, unit and the type which is UTB and the LTB. UTB means if this KPI is upper the better. So UTB is here. If this is lower the better then LTB is here. So we are capturing here the actual number for this month then the target number. This is the target versus actual and we are showing the arrow indicator also whether it is doing good or bad that is in the green and red color. And if it is more than 100% then this is up arrow or less than 100% down arrow. Similarly, we are capturing the information for the previous year also MTD previous year. That means we are taking here Feb 2023 this and we are comparing previous year versus this year and how we are performing as well as we are capturing here YTD information also. So this is the YTD actual this is the YTD target. And this is the actual versus target for the YTD numbers and here we are taking the previous year YTD and this is previous year YTD versus actual of the previous year. Now we will show you the next sheet that is the trend sheet. In the trend sheet you can select the KPI name from this drop down and let's say I am taking this KPI. Accordingly KPI group and the unit and the type LTV or UTB and the formula as well as the definition will appear here automatically as well as these chart target versus actual for the MTD and the target versus actual for the YTD will be changed. Let me show you once again. Let's say I'm selecting here inventory turnover. Then everything is changed accordingly you can see. Okay. Now I will show you how you can input the data. We have here KPI input actual sheet. So you just need to enter your data points not the KPI or the other information. You can change this month. Let's say if you are creating for 2025 you can change this first Jan 2025 or the other month whatever you want to take. Accordingly everything will be changed and this white area you have to enter the values here. Okay. So just enter the values here. Let's say we have entered till the end. Then in the KPI input target, you just need to change the values of this. Here you can see we have link with the actual seed. So automatically these dates will be changed. These months will be changed. Now I will show you some other seeds also. The next one is the KPI input PY. So this is the previous year data. And here you can input the previous year data also. This date also will appear automatically. We have put the formula here. The next sheet is the KPI definition sheet and here we have captured the KPI information. So you can just input here KPI group, then the KPI name, then the unit of the KPI, then the formula which you are using for the KPI, then the definition of the KPI and then here we are taking the type which is UTB or LTB. Okay, whether it is the upper the better or the lower the better. All right. I will show you how we have created that. So first what we have done, we have created a support sheet here and you can see in the support sheet we are taking these two formulas. This is the same date which we have entered on the actual cell E1. Let me show you this sheet KPI input actual and the first month E1. This one. Okay. So this is equal to this one. And then we just have used the formula E date function and the one. So this is the next month date. This is the next month and we have filled down till here. This is the PY date. So we just have used this date minus 12. So minus 12 month. Okay. So we are taking the previous year date uh, and this is the first date. So we have changed the format. You can just change the format of this from the format number and then you can choose the number format from here we have taken this one okay then here we are putting the formula so the formula which we are putting we are just taking this is the actual mtd right so actual mtd we are using the formula so we are taking the lookup value as the trend so whatever we have selected here 
this one we are taking here okay so this is the c3 so whatever kpi name you have selected on c3 of the trend c we are taking that then we are using the vlookup of this month from this sheet we are using the vlookup to get the actual value in the support sheet here this one okay and for this month so whatever month we have selected we are using the match function then we are using the match here so to get the position of that particular month similarly we are calculating the target from the target sheet py mtd from the py uh, sheet this one and then we are taking the ytd numbers for the ytd because here we are capturing the mtd as well as ytd in each and every sheet first column is the mtd then second column is ytd for that month so we are creating this table this is automatic table whenever you change the trend uh, this one and take any other automatically this whole number will be changed now let me show you the trend sheet first here as you change this here we are using the index function so from the kpi definition sheet on the basis of the kpi name on the basis of kpi name we are taking the kpi group so we have used here index function of the column b which is kpi group and then we have used the match function on the basis of the kpi name and the column c which is the kpi name here we can see this one okay so we are getting here this kpi group to get the unit on the basis of kpi name from the kpi definition we have simply used the vlookup this is available here on the column d similarly we are taking the type also using the vlookup and the formula and the definition also because this is all information available in the kpi definition now these two charts we are creating on the basis of the support sheet so in the support sheet we are getting this information this one so we just have created the chart using this information so you can simply create the chart from the insert and take this range insert and you can take the chart okay so your chart will be created automatically you can change the chart type let's say i want to take this combo chart and here i want to change the chart type so it has automatically taken that you can go to the customize and then in the series in the series you can decide what you want to keep on the column and what you want to keep on the line okay so let's say i want to keep actual on the column so this is the type as column you can see and you can decide the color whatever color you want to take so let's say for column i want to take uh, this color this is the outline color and take the same fill color this one okay now the next one let's say i'm taking the target or you can take the py rather than target so let's take the py first the line color first let's change the type so i'm taking here columns okay and here the fill color let's say i'm taking light uh, green color and then you can take here target also and for the target you can choose some uh, color let's say this blue color we are keeping the line here and you can take the point size also let's say 7px and you can make this line smooth from here so just make it smooth it okay so that is how we have created then you can format your chart title also so the same thing we have done here once it is done you can just click here and you can copy the chart once the chart is copied you can come to the uh, trend sheet and you can paste your chart here similarly we have done these two charts so the second chart is from the ytd we have two things here let me delete this chart we have here mtd and we have here ytd okay so we have created these two charts and this is connected with this one because when we change uh, any kpi here that that means we are changing the values on the support sheet once the values are changed on the support sheet the charts also will be changed all right so that is how we have created the trend sheet now to create the kpi input and the target and the py we just have used the formula and that formula is just equal to so we are taking the equal to a2 you can see so here we are taking this cell which is a2 okay and we are using if this is blank then it should show blank so whatever kpi you keep on the kpi definition automatically that information will appear here 
in every seed these three trend sheet we have already discussed now let me show you how we can design or create the dashboard sheet also this is the normal design which we have created and here we have created a drop down and this drop down is coming from the support sheet you can see the range this range this is coming from the support sheet b3 b14 so let me show you b3 and b14 this is b3 till b14 okay so that is how we are creating the drop down then here we are showing the same formula equal to and kpi definition a2 and here a v2 and this is c2 this is d2 and this is g2 and similarly we have taken from here these all information and then we have filled this down so whatever kpi you change in the kpi definition will appear here automatically now coming to the mtd part here what we have done we just have used the vlookup function vlookup and then we are taking the v6 v6 is nothing but the kpi number so we are using the kpi number to get the actual value so let's say for mtd actual we are using kpi number then from the actual sheet a to ab so what we are doing here we have this kpi number here and we are using the vlookup till the end so we have data till ab till here okay and then to give the number we are using here match function match function is giving us the result the position of this month okay so here we are using the match with this position on the first row and accordingly once we get that so it is showing the value similarly here we are showing from the target this formula is the h6 divided by i6 actual divided by target okay so we are calculating this here we have used the uh, formula that is if k6 which is this one if this is more than one that means more than 100 percent then we have created two arrows here in the support sheet you can see just come here you can see these are two up arrow and down arrow using the unicare function you can create some other type of arrow also automatically those arrows will reflect here okay because we have just used equal to so then it will create the arrows and here we have just put this formula for the py we are taking from the py using the vlookup and here again we put the equal to uh, this value is greater than 100 then up arrow otherwise down arrow and here we have put this divide function normally you can see this divide by this because we are comparing previous versus actual or actual versus previous okay and here we are taking for the ytd also the same thing we are capturing the only thing is here we are using plus one because when the match function will return the position of the month let's say here if i am comparing the jan month so it will return the position of the column e which is column five right column number five so we want to get the column number six so we want to use plus one so that is what we are doing here using the match function this plus one then similarly for the others also so that is how we have created and once we have created these arrows then we just have put the conditional formatting here i will quickly show you the rule of the condition formatting also so let's go to the condition formatting here we have put the four rules two for the ltb and two for the utb so we are deciding whether this type column f is the utb or the ltb so let me show you I'm saying if F6 is the LTV, if it is LTV, then H6 is less than or less than or equal to I6. Okay. Actual is less than or equal to I6. That means that should be green. LTV means lower the better. So that means if my actual is less than target, that means I'm doing good. So this will be green okay and similarly for the another rule let me show you here we are checking the utb this one if it is greater than s6 in case of the utb we will see actual should be greater than target then it will be green and in case of ltv we will see actual should be less than target then it will be green for the red we will take the opposite rule okay so that is how we have created this and uh, we have put the conditional formatting here here and here also all right friends so friends that is how we have created this supply chain logistic kpi dashboard in google sheets you can use this this is a ready to use template you can just input your kpi and you can input your uh, kpi actual target and py data 
and you can use this friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching